Deep in the Florida Everglades, a silent war rages, one not of humans, but of nature itself. Thousands of specialized wasps are being released, targeting a formidable invader, the Burmese python. These wasps are a bold biological weapon, chosen to fight a predator that's devastated local wildlife. The Everglades' delicate balance has been shattered by these giant snakes, which have no natural enemies here. Traditional methods, hunting, trapping, have failed. Now scientists are turning to nature for a solution. The wasp's mission, infiltrate the python population and restore balance to the ecosystem. This is a high-stakes gamble, a radical experiment in conservation. The hope is to give native animals, raccoons, opossums, wading birds, a fighting chance to recover. It's a story of desperation and innovation, where the smallest creatures are called to battle the largest invaders. The fate of the Everglades may depend on this tiny, unlikely hero. Nature versus nature. Can the wasps succeed where humans have failed? The outcome will shape the future of this unique wilderness. The war for the Everglades has entered a new, extraordinary phase. Burmese pythons, native to Southeast Asia, now dominate the Everglades. Released by overwhelmed pet owners and escapes from breeding facilities, these snakes have become apex predators. Their impact is catastrophic. Native mammals like raccoons and bobcats have declined by over 90%. Pythons devour birds, alligators, even deer, disrupting the entire food web. Their presence extends into communities, threatening pets and unsettling residents. Despite hunting programs and bounties, python numbers keep rising. They're masters of hiding and reproduce rapidly. The line between wild and civilized Florida is blurring, with dangerous consequences. Hunting alone isn't enough, a new strategy is needed. Scientists are searching for a way to strike at the python's most vulnerable point. The stage is set for a radical, nature-based solution. Enter the parasitic wasps, nature's own python hunters. These wasps lay eggs inside pythons. Their larvae consume the snake from within, weakening and eventually killing it. Years of research ensured these wasps target only Burmese pythons, sparing native species. Host, specificity trials, confirmed their preference for python biology and chemical cues. The wasps can reach hidden snakes in swamps and dense vegetation, places humans can't go. A small release can grow into a self-sustaining population, providing constant pressure on the python invasion. This is biological control at its most precise and relentless. The wasps are a living flying solution, hunting the hunters, restoring balance. It's a gruesome method but one with the potential to tip the scales. The Everglades future may hinge on these tiny, tireless predators. Releasing a non-native wasp to control pythons is risky. History warns us, biological control can backfire, as with Australia's cane toads. What if the wasps adapt and target native species? The Everglades ecosystem is complex and unpredictable. Scientists must monitor the wasps closely, ready to intervene if things go wrong. Public fears linger. Will these wasps sting people or pets? Communication and transparency are vital. There's also an ethical dilemma. Is it right to use such a brutal method, even for the greater ecological good? These questions have no easy answers, but the stakes are high. The Everglades' survival may depend on bold, carefully managed action. The wasps aren't a quick fix, but a long-term strategy. Success means a self-sustaining wasp population keeping python numbers in check, giving native wildlife a chance to recover. But wasps are just one tool. Hunting, trapping, and public education remain essential. The world is watching if this, if this works, it could inspire solutions for other invasive species crises. The Everglades story is now one of hope, risk, and human ingenuity. Doing nothing isn't an option, the python's destruction demands action. By turning to nature, we're betting on the resilience of this wild place. With luck and careful management, these tiny wasps might just save the Everglades.